Hello everybody and welcome to this webinar. It's based on a presentation that was originally prepared for the Nestec Outreach Workshop that took place in September 2016 in Trento. My name is Ankarin Mainz and I'm here as a representative of the VWW. In this webinar I will describe the current situation of wild plant cultivation in Germany from the perspective of our member companies. Here we have a short agenda for this presentation. Who we are? VWW is a nationwide consortium of producers of wild seeds and plants. It focuses on the production and marketing of seeds for forbs, grasses and woody plants. It brings together producers, traders, consultants, scientists and collectors concerned with the use of wild flora. It aims to secure and develop the production of indigenous wild plant seeds. Our quality seal, VWW Regiosaaten, stands for a high degree of assurance in regards to origin and quality. Let's take a look at the market situation in Germany. In this table you will find some market figures we estimated. Our members produce on an area of about 600 hectares and they cultivate around 400 different species. With approximately 100 producers and collectors, the members of VWW achieve an annual turnover of circa 8 million euros with wild native seeds and plants. The estimated quantity of wild plant seeds sold by VWW companies is about 120 tons per year. This covers slightly more than half of the market in Germany, assuming that the total amount is 200 tons. So, where are we today? 40,000 tons of breed seeds are sown annually in grassland. 200 tons of applied wild seeds are a small amount in comparison to that, only half of a percent. 2,000 tons of wild seed will be needed at least by 2020. To serve the market in 2020, it would need a tenfold growth over the next four years. There are serious doubts that this can be achieved under the current conditions and on the next slides I will try to explain why. Let's have a short excursion first, why to use regional seed sources. It's known for a long time that plants are often adapted to local or regional environmental conditions. You can see here how native thyme plants of different populations differ in terms of flowering time. This is an effect of the process of adaption to the original location. A recent study, including a transplant experiment, has confirmed that species fitness decreases with increasing geographical distance. As the graph on the left shows, the genetic differences between populations rise depending on the spatial distance and climatic differences. The strength of these effects differs between species. Some show a great, great diversity, like Gallium album or Lychnis flus cuculi, and others no genetic differences were found within Germany, like in tall old grass. But what does regional mean? Let's have a look on the current regional concept for wild seeds in Germany. We use a system of 22 areas defined by specific physiographic features developed in a DBU research project. This regional system became the basis of the German Preservation Mixture Regulation, short AMIF. These are the names of the production areas and regions of origins. We do have eight production areas and 22 regions of origin. 
Presently, the sales volumes within the 22 regions of origin are not sufficient for economical production. Although we strive for that, it is not always possible to offer any desired mixture completely from the target region. Today, the replacement of missing species is limited to the directly adjacent regions of origin. We would recommend, as a transitional solution, to facilitate exchange between adjacent production areas to not dispense unavailable species entirely. So, how do we assess the current structuring? Our recommendation for countries that are deciding on their area classification begin with larger areas to allow the development of the market. Once the market has become established, it can be made more small-scale. Using the German example, a temporary consolidation to the borders of the eight production areas would be our preference. Numerous laws and directives from various areas regulate the wild seed production in Germany. On the one hand, we have the laws of the seed breeding protection, on the other hand, of nature conservation. And laws come from the different levels of legislation, from the EU, the federal law and the provincial law. The three most important laws are the Diversity Convention, the Habitats Directive or FFH Directive, and they are implemented into the German law by the Federal Nature Conservation Act, short BNHG, that's most important act for us. The amendment of the Federal Nature Conservation Act in March 2010 brought an important change for us. Paragraph 40, that deals with non-native alien and invasive species, was changed. In natural surroundings from March 2020, the planting of seeds outside of their natural ranges needs approval by the authorities. But already today, preference should be given to regional plants and seeds. We are very happy with this, even if some definitions could be clearer. For example, the definition of natural surroundings. On the EU level, the Fodder Plant Directive shall protect the plant breeder's rights. The Fodder Plant Directive regulates the market of many common grasses and legumes, which are usually marketed as cultivars. In 2010, the Preservation Mixture Directive came into force. It was implemented into the German law by the Erhaltungsmischungsverordnung a regulation for preservation mixtures. An additional guideline was implemented by the seed certification agencies. It's called Leitfaden zur Umsetzung der Erhaltungsmischungsverordnung. Regulation for preservation mixtures. Erhaltungsmischungsverordnung. This regulation allows to bring wild varieties of fodder plants to the market up to 5% of the total amount traded. Before this regulation entered into force, the trade in wild forms of fodder plants was rated as illegal by some plant breeders. But there are still challenging conditions. Every collection site for parent seeds must be located in a protected area and sampling has to be approved first by local authorities. Confinement to sex or equivalent can make it difficult to find collection sites for some plant species as their grassland communities are not adequately represented in these areas. This applies for some species of the Arenatarian in northern Germany. We recommend local conservation authorities should be able to approve additional collection sites. And there are some things we are missing. 
Wild plant mixtures that do not contain species covered by the fodder plant directive are not subject to legal regulations currently. We plead for implementation in the nature protection legislation. Only if all seed batches labeled as wild plants are subject to the same control procedures, the regional production can evolve adequately. This loophole leads to a comprehensive range of wild seed mixtures of unsure quality and provenience. And that is the reason why we do need certification. Five minutes with Google and the buyer finds a huge range of wild seed mixtures where genuine local native seeds are often difficult to distinguish from other offerings. Currently these two are the approved certificates for preservation mixtures. Regiozert, bared by the BDP and VWW Regiosaaten bared by the VWW. Both base on the inspection by independent companies. In case of Regiozert it is LACON and in case of the VWW it is ABCERT. The VWW Regiosaaten certification includes all herbs and grasses in the certified mixtures. On this slide we can have a short glance on the organization of the control process. The producers register for certification at the VWW. The VWW defines the rules for the certification in accordance to the legal requirements. AB Cert does the audits and sends the inspection reports to the Certification Commission. The Commission consists of six independent elected members. This Certification Commission decides on the award of the certificate. If you would like to have more information, please visit our website. What are the important characteristics of VWW Regiosaaten? In 2015, all requirements derived from the AMIF have been implemented to our certification procedure. The certification applies on grasses and forbs, including fodder plants, that are reproduced in the production area assigned to the region of origin. Green hay, seed containing soil and mulch material are not certified. Potentially invasive species are excluded. The certification differentiates between mere producers that are monitored every three years and those who bring seeds on the market, monitoring every year. To bring seeds to the market you need to register at BSA and you have to apply for a certain volume. For every mixture an individual number has to be applied for. For VW Regiosaaten, what are the quality criteria? Minimum purity and germination potential according to ZADG for fodder plants and according to our regulations for all other species. For batches larger than 500 kilos, special checks on purity and germination ability are done according to AMIF. What are our criteria for collection? At least 50 individuals harvested, donor populations bigger than 100 individuals and several populations need to be harvested for every area. Donor site shall not be along roads, no sowing or cultivars and should consist of typical flora. You have to use a mandatory collection protocol for documentation. Within the propagation process, avoid selection during every step. The first generation should consist of more than 200 individuals, better 1000 or more. Maximum of 5 offspring generations. This is how our certificates look like. We do have one for 
grassland species and another one for woody plants. To bring more transparency to our customers, we provide an annual list of all species grown according our regulations on our website. You can search for plant species and you can sort every column of the table alphabetically. To conclude the presentation, I would like to show you a few case examples. Here you can see the restoration process of an uranium mine close to Gera, starting 2005. Here a picture from 2006. And this is a picture from the Federal Garden Show that took place on this area. Today, the place has turned in a more normal grassland area with different ways of usage. Here you can see it is used as a pasture for horses and as a leisure park for sports and events. Here we have three different examples for roadside areas and the second year after sowing. You may use regional wild seeds for the enhancement of biodiversity in grassland, like in this example. Or for the planting of roofs. The combination with photovoltaics is possible. And here you can see the roof of the parking deck of the soccer station Allianz Arena. It was sown with wild seeds too. Let's summarize. What would help the German regional wild seed market most from our point of view? The expansion of possible collection sites? The enhancement of substitution possibilities? Or even temporary merging of 22 regions of origin to 8? More controls through authorities, for example the check of origin by stable isotopy analysis? and more on-site inspections at sowing location. If politicians and conservationists do not massively support the market for regional wild plant seed, the target for 2020 will not be reached. The producers cannot bear all risks alone. Do you have any questions? Please do not hesitate to contact the VWW office. Thank you for your attention.